Hello there everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. In this video, I'd like to talk about why women have stronger immune systems than men. And as a male, it pains me to say this, but ladies, you win yet again. You do have stronger immune systems than us. And let's think about the reasons why. Let's go back to the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic because it was noted very early on that males were being affected far more than females. A lot of people in the medical community were talking about it. And there's lots of different theories why this is happening. Uh, I'm going to tell you mine in a little bit. Early on, I remember March, April 2020, in hospitalized patients, I was noticing a very obvious sex discrepancy. I was treating way more males than females, and this appeared to be independent of other risk factors. Usually, I have a 50-50 split for most illnesses. And I can't tell you the number of times I remember having male patients and I was calling to, say, update their wife over the phone. And she would also have COVID-19, but she would have only had a sore throat or a cough, uh, but little else beyond that uh, while her husband was in the hospital. Now, women can, of course, get very sick from COVID-19, but when you look at the data, there's a clear skew towards men being affected more. So why is this happening? I did a bit of my own background reading and interestingly found that it has been well documented in many animal species that females have stronger immune systems than males. And many scientists have put forward different theories related to, say, the X chromosome, to genetics, to estrogen. Some have even said, well, females are naturally primed to, in essence, carry a, a foreign body in them during pregnancy and their immune systems need to be ready for that. Nobody knows the truth, but I have a more simple theory as to why females have stronger immune systems than males. If we think about this from a crude evolutionary biology perspective, we are just a snapshot of time. We can't even imagine the hundreds of thousands, millions of years of evolution that have gone into us standing here right now. And nature, of course, is absolutely brutal. Once you get out there, it's pure survival of the fittest. And thankfully, humans are not all about survival of the fittest. We have gone beyond that. But nature is still like that. And I was watching a documentary once uh, that put it uh, rather well, but also crudely and said that your sole purpose, anyone's sole purpose from an evolutionary perspective is simply to pass on the genetic baton to the next generation to ensure survival of the species. And the truth is that animal species sadly have been dealing with pandemics, all animal species, or at least most of them, since the beginning of time, we've been dealing with pandemics. And they occur at frequent intervals and often unfortunately devastate um, not just humans, but whatever animal species we're talking about. Now, thinking about this from an evolutionary perspective, from a nature perspective, it will be a bigger problem for any animal species to lose females rather than males. In other words, if they're faced with a pandemic, if more females are being lost over males, it will be a bigger threat to the survival of the species for very obvious reasons. So it's therefore a simple survival advantage for the species to have females having a stronger immune system than males. And what we may have been witnessing since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic is simply hundreds of thousands, millions of years of evolutionary biology in action when a species is faced with an imminent threat the survival advantage will be for more females to survive that than males. That is my theory anyway. If you have any other theories, please let me know. But I do believe from a purely survival of the species standpoint, it makes more sense for females to have stronger immune systems. Thanks very much for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, follow me on YouTube and Facebook, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine. We will speak again soon.